to share a testimony from today. So I am landscaping. I have like a small business and I was cutting this lady's yard and she's kind of a newer customer. And uh, it was a long day for me today. It's like, I think it's like high 80s, low 90s out today. So it was a really hot day. I was working from like nine to five. Um, so I was pretty exhausted. And it was towards the end of the day. And um, I was doing the weed whacking and I'm kind of finishing up and she comes out and she showed me that I missed a little spot. When you edge, there, there was some thicker grass, so she wanted me to, to edge that again. And so she said, come, ne come next week and just make sure to hit it next week, no big deal. But I told her, I said, I'll hit it right now. So at this point I have my weed whacker in the truck already. Um, so it was like another, you know, a minute walk, a minute back, and then like a minute to hit it. So it was an extra three minutes. Honestly, I did not feel like doing it. It was such a small little thing and she was fine with me doing it next week, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to do it now. And um, she was really thankful that I jumped on it right away. And um, she's like, you didn't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. And I thought about that and I thought about the verse where Jesus says, if someone asks you to go one mile, go with them the second mile. And if someone takes your tunic, give them your cloak also or give them something else also. And what Jesus is showing us is how to love people well. If someone asks you to, for something, go the extra mile. I actually worked at Chick-fil-A for a little bit and one of their principles is called second mile service where they, they actually teach you at Chick-fil-A uh, when you work there, second mile service, meaning go above and beyond what they expect. And it's amazing how that really blesses people when you do more than they ask for them or they where you do something that um, is a sacrifice for you. And that's the truth, love is a sacrifice. My flesh didn't wanna do it, but I decided to make that sacrifice. And I'm not boasting in myself because I don't always do that, trust me. <laughs> like that was that was a good special moment for me, but sometimes, you know, I get lazy. I don't, I don't go the extra mile because it takes work, it takes effort, it's a sacrifice. But God tells us and commands us to, to do that for people and to make that sacrifice and it's always worth it. You'll never regret going the extra mile for someone. Even if they don't receive it well, even if they misuse the love you showed, it's not your responsibility how they respond, it's your responsibility to go the extra mile. So I just wanted to challenge you and also just challenge myself because this is something I need to work on in my life. How can we go the extra mile in people's lives that we know, in, in our businesses, in our families, in our friendships, in our churches, how can we practically go the extra mile? I want you to take a moment and meditate on that and uh, just challenge yourself to make that sacrifice for someone else. And that's why Jesus died. He showed us that he went the second mile for us. He went the extra mile. He didn't have to die on the cross, um, but he willingly laid down his life. No one take his, takes his life from him, but he lays it down as a good shepherd. So we're to sit, live in that same way. Although we don't die for people's sins, Jesus did that. We are also to lay down our life and die to ourselves so that we can serve others.